the way it generates textures is it generates GLSL shaders to make the, those, those textures. Um, and it's using a, it uses a, a node-based approach. Uh, each node contains a small uh, fragment of uh, code, of GLSL code. And uh, so it compiles all this code and generates a shader that is the texture. Um, the, because, uh, and it's made in Godoy Engine, I already said that. On Tuesday, I realized that I help people sell other people's stuff they name don't really need. About here, I don't know where the name This happened during It's March. here, Rodzilla. Um, On Wednesday, and uh, what I do in the program, I, I, I did some small contributions, but mainly I have created an extra li library to add more 3D stuff. But the program already does uh, 3D stuff uh, using sign distance functions. Uh, because of the way it uh, is made, uh, each node uh, can generate uh, uh, as the sign distance functions and uh, com we can compose those functions in a very interesting way because the inputs of the nodes are functions and not just a single value that gives a lot of really a lot of flexibility so it's uh, very it's very 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 flexible but I, I will show now so to install the, the program we click ha here f uh, download now I will Okay, something went wrong doing the download. <laughs> okay, no internet. Okay. No problem. I, I don't think I need internet. But you click download and it will give you a zip file. You down, you open the zip file and then uh, you put the, the files uh, like I have here uh, in, the, in the folder. It's just on my desktop. And then you just double click the executable file and, and this, is the, this is the program. And um, okay, so the program, I will talk about the program now, but okay. Okay, let me just change my internet. I think I have. Sorry about this interruption. Let me see if I have internet now. Not yet. Okay. Connect. Okay. Oops. Let me see like Google. something is wrong on my with my internet but I don't think I need internet for this presentation enable to connect to this network I will try the other one okay I don't need it Thanks. Okay. Uh, so where I, where was I? I was showing here the program. Uh, so the program has like 200 type uh, nodes. So the, you can drag a node here. Okay. Uh, this, for example, draws. A, let me just change. With you can click with the right mouse button and change the type of uh, the of uh, rendering you want this is the normal one i use and you have these sliders like a normal node usual stuff um and then this you can r uh, click control w and you click here and now you can ed edit the node and um this is all GLSL code like I said.
okay you can change the code create your own nodes what I do is I, I create more nodes so uh, I have a library uh, in my website the, the, this is this one um, website now in my github and I don't have internet now uh, but here if you press here you will see uh, basically a JSON file there you have just to download the JSON file put the JSON file wherever you like go to manage libraries load library and then you just double click the, the JSON file and if you do that you will have more my, my notes the notes that I have made which are all these ones about a hundred nodes more nodes to create 3d stuff but the program already creates 3d stuff out of the box so I will probably start there um, so you we can combine uh, stuff here let me so why I mean for example we have here a circle and this is a shape we can blend the two okay and like I said you can even eat this node most of the node not all but like 99% of the nodes are just code you can go here and, and edit the code and um, this uh, this inputs and outputs are functions so it's possible in this node this blend node to call this shape several times so it's not a value okay because you can do this there are many possibilities for for example creating uh, 3d stuff for example I can make uh, here a sphere okay, you, you have some GUI for this my box Okay, and um, you have uh, a built-in 3D viewer to show this these uh, shapes. You uh, uh, right uh, right click this and select uh, ray matching material, and you can go here and click here preview 3D, and now you are seeing the the sphere. It uses a technique. It's basically using, uh, for the guys who know it, it's actually raining a cube, and the shader of the cube is like a um, a window into the the shader, into the ray marching uh, shader. Okay, this is the built-in the built-in viewer. You have here also the albedo, metallic, etc. Uh, for example, I can add here texture for example a pattern okay change here the parameters normal okay also change the other parameters and um, now I will start to use also my my library I have made if you want to start doing something I advise you to do this do, don't use the built-in install my, my library go to MEF SDF and here you can ha you have a render by the way so if you right click here I can start writing render for example and now this is the my render to show the render you go to now to, to preview 3d so this is just one node I will start from the beginning this is just one node I, I can drag here this and now this is uh, this already is a shader because you have a uh, you can have default inputs so this is a default function and this is another default function is a default function that generates the 360 image and this is the uh, the the um, the sign distance field, the MEF sign distance field. This this MEF sign distance field is 
it's an uh, an enhanced sine distance field because it works this way. Um, you specify which of the it or it outputs not just the the sine distance function but also colors, uh, uh, metallic and other the other components. Um, so if I want to override this, I can. I have to first create an object. Okay. By the way, I'm, if we press w one of the, the 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 nodes, it will preview the the node itself. But I want I only want this output. So I will control click here, and it will now lock this this output. So I can now click the other the other nodes and to continue working with it and the output is always the same uh, so this is the, the node that generates this MEF SDF and this this node has here uh, the sine distance uh, uh, function the classic one for example this is a torus for example here I can play with this okay also have I have some easy stuff to, to manipulate this and also try to change this and add again a texture so it multiplies my color I will just put white and here you have um, you can play with the camera so the out this 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 is a shader so I can uh, I don't have internet that's a problem but trust me I you you add this uh, node which is the debug you click show shader and this is a shader toy shader so it will work just with copy paste in, in shader toy you also can uh, um, for example the camera I will now create an animation to move in a circle move this, the camera in the circle pointing at zero 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 uh, I will just use some basic Mac functions the sign of time which is dollar time and I will step a bit a bit far multiply by five and as you probably know okay, this already is moving from one place to the other from one place to the other I use now the cosine okay we have an animation now let me just put slow down a bit just use just filling here with some parameters uh, probably a bit faster okay so um, let me see um, okay so you can do uh, some simple animations with this um, and create shaders this way uh, so as I said this is this program is for building tex textures but as you can see you can generate shaders using the program um, I will show now what can you mo more complex stuff that you can do with this this library one of the things that you can do let me is create for example another object I just copy paste this one and I will do now a boolean smooth smooth boolean um, okay put it here and now it has a it's the default object it's a sphere 
I can override the sphere using, for example, another torus, um, and we now blend the two. Um, let me put another color, for example. Okay. I can, of course, everything I can, for example, change this again using time. Sorry, this is better. So a sine function times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, no, plus, for example, like this. Not too big. so you can you can play with it also here you can you have you have some controls here to to, to trans rotation position also scale change here the um, components of the render And it will always blend with, with the, the other shape. Okay. Um, another thing, you can. I will now remove the the animation. Five or three two, for example. No, that's too big. Okay. Another thing that you can do, for example, is to use, uh, you can deform uh, this place, I think it's this place, this place. So, and connect here, and we'll displace using a, a 3D, tech, not, not a texture, but a, a 3D function, let me, a function that gives a value for its each point in space, uh, a color for each point in space. Okay. Another thing here. In here you start seeing some artifacts. You can try to correct these artifacts with this correction. This is one type of um, this is one type of, of deformation. Uh, you can you have also other types of displaces. This place you have this place by direction, no, my direction, it's not so useful. This plate, wait, in here it will just displace uh, somewhere. Okay. Oops, sorry. So here it will always displace only the the surface. Okay. Again, you can add some correction here. The correct you should put the, the correction should be the minimum possible. Okay. Um, okay. You can also add uh, okay the color. Can another you very useful thing is to colorize. Uh, let me have 
get rid of the metallic okay you have it, this will multiply this color with this color so if I put for example black red the colors are not correct so can double click here and add for example between white and blue and play with this Okay. So um, another uh, f uh, feature that is now in uh, Material Maker. By the way, uh, before I sing, I will I jump into it, into that. I will now. So let me just put the standard render. Okay. You can. I also implemented a, a, a path tracing, so you can also do a path tracing here. You just change the render node. Uh, if I connect here, nothing will show because we don't have lights. So in path tracing, we, we need real lights. So I'm, I'm using, I will use this, which is basically pre-configured let me just I can do it by hand no problem uh, just to add a light you just add the emission so this will generate the standard object that is a, a sphere we have to combine we have I have some easy combinations like this union f union for that combines for for objects and then you add this path tracing here and okay so you see some flickering here you can we can change the render to temporal utilizing with 2.2 um, 2, um, of uh, correction Let's see it takes now we start okay start to converge I will move the light also uh, also add uh, let me add here checkerboard It now takes some time to compile because uh, every time you connect something, as the shader starts to get more complex, the sh the compile times are also bigger. Okay, so here I added uh, a checkerboard, and this also has a light here preset up. I will delete the other light. I don't need it. This is to show that we, you, you can make more renders, okay? If the, the ones that I made and they are built in are not good enough for you. Actually, mine are not that good. They don't respect uh, the, the rules. <laughs> the so uh, are more uh, um, than by hand. Uh, with with some they are not physically correct but it looks good uh, also it takes a long time to converge it's just a ba ba very basic path tracing but if you give it enough time it will generate some pretty images okay you can also add um, let me just change here the render to a better one 
not not the render the the scene the environment that's that's the the word um, yeah here okay well, yeah, this one okay, I have um You can add a three three hundred and sixty. So I, I have this this image. You have some uh, it, Material Maker has some uh, three hundred and sixty HDRI images. This is one of them. It's also cool to do some some renderings. Everything works, okay? So this is not static. I can still play with this and um, change the colors and everything works the 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 mo the most again i to to fix the output you press control and it's now locked the the bigger problem is the shader compilation because this is always building a shader each each time you connect the node the shader times are very are very slow. I wish there was a quicker way, like a draft way, a very quick way to in to in the drivers. Like if we could say don't optimize it very well and just compile it as soon as possible, and sometime after a better shader with would, would um, arrive in the drivers. But I don't think there are any APIs to do that. Okay, so this uh, was uh, what I want to show f um, on this part of the, the rendering library, how it works. Now, um, for creating the, um, this, you typically need to create use these nodes, but the Material Maker 1.0 has a very cool feature, which is called Easy SDF. Okay, so I just... I created uh, everything from start again. It's clean, so you can just drag this node here, and you can use the built-in node for again. You can use the built-in node for rendering, okay? Th which is this one. You can you could change to ray marching material, and you can use this. But I will use my my render. Okay, you can search my render for if you if you write render. This is the render. So I show you the path tracing render. This is the standard render. Uh, this is just a combination of these two, and this is one that generates 360 images for using with VR and that kind of stuff. Um, so this one, let me change here to extend mode so how does it works you double click here and this generates two kinds of functions the a 2d sign distance function or a 3d sign distance function um, right now is in 2d mode by default so if I create here for example circle it will generate this fun you can it's basically a tree where that you can edit, create, for example, shape, boolean, smooth union, and you drag here the two. Okay, so you can easily uh, create stuff signed without d using nodes. Actually, these are kind of nodes, but are in the tree view. In you, here, you change the, the the properties. Okay, so this has this 2D mode. Let me just delete it, and you you also can create 3D SDFs. Like here, I create a sphere. Okay, and it has this lit these helpers to change here the values. Okay, 
and uh, you this not only creates the um, the sign distance functions but also outputs let me just click okay the albedo metallic the, these four parameters so you can um, edit them all there okay so i just i will edit again with double click and for that you have to uh, on each um, object by the way this is the first version so it's still it's the first version it will evolve in the future but uh, it or you can already do many many cool th stuff with it so you can do here and then you can add a color this in this case we will add albedo and the albedo we specify that you want the albedo and then you specify if you want for example an, an, a uniform color like for example red or if you want um, um, an, a noise function for example, okay, with usual the usual parameters, and you can, for example, change the um, the brightness and contrast of the function. Uh, click here, and yeah, I can now change the brightness and contrast of this, and you can create another sphere you, s you see here that when I change the sphere the, per the texture is changing it's fixed in space the texture but you can go to the albedo and click local and if you do that um, it's whoop, sorry oh I understand it's not it was not on the right spot it, it still does you can't click it doesn't support that so it will eventually of course do that not now you have to know the place in the tree to move the, the specific object but oh, it we will get there now we will, we will blend let me change here the, the colors uh, okay to change the color I can for example, create here a filter, simple simple gradient, and for example, put it red, something like this, for example. And then we have two spheres, this one and this one. We can now create Boolean a smooth union. Put this one here, this one here, and now you have a smooth boolean. And it also blends every parameter. We always we only put albedo here, but you could put other other parameters. Other uh, um, you can also change here, of course, how much blended they want the two, and also the color has a different parameter it has a different you can can be different for 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 the, for the color okay so if, if i hit apply and i um oh so how do you connect this one if you only have this mefs sdf here you have to um, add this object you will have to create an object in my li library and put here the albedo, metallic, brightness, and emission. We don't have emission, but and now I control click here. Okay, so it's here the the object. Just to show the the native um, native render. Where is the native render? Uh, I don't know where there where he is it is a uh, uh, let me see if he's behind here no I don't know where, where where the render was it was supposed to be here let me just try oh here it is I will just copy here paste it here by the way it's not it has nothing to do what I'm if I go to a notepad 
this is very cool if I for example click this node do control C and control V this is the code of the node I can select copy go to a, a different uh, a different uh, thing environment and it will the, the node will appear so I can change the code here and and um, a new node will appear here and also my, my for example my, my library library is only code uh, that when you save the the, the file um, the code is included with the node so you don't you don't to use a saved file you don't have to include to have my library okay that's also very very cool um so I was showing the, the default render. Okay, here it is the default render, just to show that it also works. I, I have to change here to ray marching material. Beetle, metallic, hotness, emission. So it also works inside that that um, box that i was that why sometimes when the view is outside the box you you can see this okay by the way th these shaders can be exported to unity and um, and uh, i think uh, no i think it's on a ghetto not unity and and, and unreal only for Godot. In Godot, you can export it exactly this shader that is that is here, create a box there, and apply this shader to that box, and you will see exactly what you are seeing here. So, the object is not the box itself; it's what it's inside the box in in using ray marching. Um, maybe. You can do some nice things with that in a game engine or for a demo, for example, creating a demo with lots and lots of boxes, and uh, then you just render the the shaders in the boxes uh, with the world. That way, you can probably scale a large world with lots of different shaders, you, and you, you can also use parameterizations. And with parameterizations, you can um, create different objects just changing some parameterizations for example it's an idea um, so continuing okay preview 3d my shape my, my render is not that nice but I can also uh, if you see image here environments epic forest okay gamma correction okay. he has a built-in procedurally made environment but a real one is better So continuing with easy SDF, um, there are many uh, things that you can do here. We have spheres. You can also have um, a torus. Also, okay. scale it here. Also add color. Uh, and we have like uh, an ellipsoid. Okay, and ellipsoid. No, ellipsoid. change exactly 
something you also have um, some functions ah this okay mihor 3d it will now exact so he's applying a mirror to to the things that i'm doing i don't know what i'm drawing here Add the color albedo create here uh, uniform like blue or something. I'm not a three D artist, so I can't do proper stuff. Sorry, uh, but um, that there are some nice things already done with it with, with this uh, more th stuff we can also for example uh, this create here filter create a deform okay, generation now it will yes pattern so i will try to create This ellipsoid is in just to make it bigger. One has to be one. Now I'm going to deform this filter, deform the texture. Great. Uh, okay. It's the inverse that I want. Exactly made these nice marble textures okay so so possible so it everything blends um another th another thing that you can add uh let me ch try to go with some things create sphere Okay, add albedo, and then add this uniform. I can also deform the surface using a shape. Uh, so sorry. Probably not here, it's here. Now oh, it's here. Distort. So it will distort the sphere with a texture. Okay. Purling noise. Okay. can of course blend this so 
イエス Is going from now. Dun, dun, dun. We kindly warn Paulo that he only has 10 more minutes of presentation. Only, Thank only you. 10 more, mi okay. more minutes. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Simple gradient. This was the one. Boolean, smooth Boolean union. Okay. Why? It's in here is the the object that we created. Yeah. So you can create, um, I don't have time to create uh, um, some interesting stuff, just just to show you the, the features that we have now. Um, I'm going now to to use, to, to show a nice, a nice use case. In this case, I will use um, the 2D, I will generate a 2D uh, sign distance function. I, I will, to to create something okay view standard i don't think this is correct it's okay so i'm going to create here a box okay smooth union I'm racing against time okay. so again to start if you don't know how to start I will say it again just drag this handler and start and then you have to create an object and he, this is the sign distance function. You can click and drag, and will it will show the 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 things that you can connect. Okay, so here I want a box, and here I also want a box. And okay. Um, this here so you can use this as a helpers to place your objects let me change the color okay this is the smooth union okay the normal you can also of course I have sub subtraction and intersection Now, now we want a union. So this is there. There are stuff that uh, you can specify. The here, this this smooth function can be a 2D distance function. Can be mapped to a 2 d to a 2D distance function, and we can play with that. That's what we're going to do. So instead of this smooth building. We will we will use a, an advanced one. Advanced boolean has a lot more options. Okay. So so right, right this is the same. We already have more stuff to to say to say where where you want the the smooth, but you have now more. Uh, you can customize uh, where the the union with this with this uh, sign distance fig 
function to the field. And we can use the um, easy SDF for it. For it. Okay, we'll connect it here. It will not show anything probably because so how does it work? Um, we have to specify so this part is one side and this part is the other side. I will in I will create a box. You will understand what I mean. Or better, if I just put this and apply and ah okay. I have to change here is to custom. So now it it it's the two D function. The intersection is that um, that circle that generated this. So I can double click here. Let me see. Okay, if I put it here, I hit apply. Yes, it, it there is a problem here with the. Uh, but we can manage that. Create shape box. Apply it here. And another. is not I don't know what is no why it, oh it, it it was here okay we don't we don't need the union okay if we hit apply oh it's broken for whatever reason Okay. So we can create here a circle, not, not a circle, for example shape a box to make for example stairs manual stairs I don't know in my tests this wasn't happening I don't know why this is happening for whatever reason this is not rendering correctly strange Oh, okay. We can also add here. Uh, actually, it's kind of simple. I I can just go here, edit the code, and fix it right now by dividing the here. But I, I don't I don't need that. So this is the the, the the union that we were doing here. Okay. So if you if you understand. If I if I, for example, put this here, uh, here, um, or here, the, this box, add us another box. And we can play for with um, some stuff that create here a larger one. That one of the things that w that we can play is the way to color the things. We can color by normal, 
for example. So stuff that is pointing up will have this color, stuff that is going in this direction will have this, this normal. Uh, we can also mix the two colors like we were doing. We can also add um, a texture to fill with, with, with the mixing. Let me add some noise here. Okay. See, this is all dynamic. So if I rotate this or change this or okay, another let me see another thing that we can do. For example, pull. I this, this is the operator smooth polar repeat that does does a smooth polar repeat. And this was created automatically. At, uh, okay. And um, okay, this was uh, what I was going to show. I have another thing to show if I can, if they let me. Uh, I think it's 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 very cool. It's it's a way to automatically detect edges and create that and modify edges. Um, let me again drag the, my render. Um, an object is always the render, the object and the SDF. Okay. So this is a box this radius okay w one thing that uh, we can do let me just fix the output is uh, because the we can in on each node run the this the the sub nodes as many times as we, we want we can do stuff like uh, a blur function an SDF blur so it's not really a blur I, I don't know how to do that if anyone knows how to do a, a real blur, please tell me. Uh, what I do is I I, I um, pick I just sample the SDF on 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 the sphere um, many times and blur the, the result. So this blur, this have this have blurred the the, the, the initial bo box. And what we can do with that with this is if we pick the original uh, SDF and the blurred one, we know the edges, if, if we make the difference, we know where the edges are and we can apply color, a color for this. If it's positive, we apply a texture. If it's negative, we apply another texture and we can play with it. We can also uh, apply a texture to do the blending between the two so it creates some nice shapes. I will. I will show 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 that now. Uh, okay, I will. It is just to show you the blur. I will now paint. I will paint. It's called paint. The the nodes are called paint edges. Generic. Uh, okay. She has the base SDF. And okay, we can many times we can also apply a small uh, blur here, and we have the blurred one. So 
for example here is red and here will be white for the modified SDF okay so see it detects the detected the, the edges uh, I was also this is the the first I don't we can of course use just the radius but it's just for showing purpose uh, I will do a more interesting uh, shape instead of just this box let me first create here a box okay this box let me do just an a easy 2d render a fast one to edit the shape uh, I don't think I can have multiple renders I don't know why Okay, this is a, a ba very, very basic render that just renders directly two shapes. I will now add this. I will let me fix here the render and then the uh, box. I have a smooth Oops. boolean it's between the two boxes. All times to go back. It's five minutes. No, you're already five minutes over. Okay, just let we just tried turning it off and on again. There, there. I just want to make a cross. I just want that. Why is that. life so complicated? How much time? The I'm My, minus five. I already told you. <laughs> uh, come on. Okay. It uh, has a twister. It has a twister. Now I will use this here and here. Blur uh, twister. The render. Yeah. Ah. And here we can texture pattern. Okay. Oh. I like noise. Yes. And you can, of course, twist here. It automatically. I will okay. I will show Crash. just the um, the already done ones <laughs> because I don't have time. I <laughs> I have to respect also the other guys who are presenting. We can course. flash the light a lot if As you well. want. <laughs> and start putting the music. So uh, now I will just show stuff that is already done. So let inertia. Let me see inertia. Advanced boolean. Okay, this is one of them okay ah. this was oh this is what the was the example that I've I was I done previously something like this this one is the deform edges okay here is a, a it uses a different node that um, that scope edges here okay mm. it's instead of just the color and of of course everything just works magically creates uh, and you can export directly glsl you can copy paste you can go here debug so shader, copy paste, and it's on shader toy. This. Bam. Okay. 
Thank you very much. Everybody, please okay. give him a round of applause. Sorry for the time.